Kidoki eyes. Nothing on. Wait, no. Clues. Not locations. Ins ins insurance letter. There's something about that insurance letter that makes me uneasy. step helps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Body traveled a good 20 feet. That, is, that looks like it looks kind of weird that it traveled that far. Okay. Very interesting. What's that? This blood is a long way from the body. Been going like a bat out of Why the, the blood stain looks inconsistent with the rest of the blood stain? It looks kind of weird. The car hit him here. Uh, okay, the car hit him here. Some blood spattered. He got flung over there, and then he he got dragged. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> so the driver managed to break before the impact. Hmm. Nothing in this so girl again. <coughs> so I talked to her. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. <coughs> I own this report. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Yeah. Why not? Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Yeah, I believe her. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Red Lincoln Continental. Tell me more about the argument. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. Trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Perry. Your information has been very helpful. We can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Or, or her. It might have been a her. It looked, it looked faintly like a woman. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Aha, another newspaper. Shrink to the Sears. Promises men. Is this the same guy? Court. Come in. Have a seat. Thanks. How are you finding working at the clinic? It sounds fine. Are you sure? Let's turn up the dialogue. I can barely hear what they're saying. <laughs> can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, of course. I was hoping the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. 
Many of them have been for years caught. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the look of the problem, and we have a chance to help. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. They're addicts, and he likes a cigarette. Sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, though? Many of them... Oops. I guess it's supposed to be that quiet. <laughs> Addictions are elite. Oh, many things in life are great, Corey. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Hmm. The guy's appeared in two papers in the headlines so far. Two of thirteen. Any of these glasses have anything to do with anything? No. Olive oil comes from olive? Where's baby oil come from? I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take more note. Mrs. Patterson Hall. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Fire. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. That's true. and order. We're having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your Correct. favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. <laughs> was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Okay. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. I was wrong. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Check out the rest of the place then. Use the telephone then. What are we gonna use this for now? Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thank you. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Okay, what the fuck's in here? It's a poker room, huh? So this is why everybody comes to raise. Is gambling illegal here? I don't know. I think it is. I'm gonna check out up here. 
Nothing really, it doesn't look like anything. Hmm. I'll go back outside and, and we'll go to the guy's place. Man, how long is this thing saving? God damn it. Nothing really up here. Let's go back down. Well, he goes down, goes downstairs and goes upstairs. Looks pretty realistic. Let's go around. Let's go around this way. Any of these? Oh wait, look. There's a. How does? Oh, these are two. Okay, okay and zoom R two. Street crime locations. Make this a priority. Okay. 